Hello and uh, welcome to today's lesson. So in this lesson we are going to be looking at statistics and uh, we are going to look at ungrouped data. So ungrouped data, this is the data that has not been placed in the classes. It has not been placed in classes like, for example, 2 less or equal to x less or equal to uh, less than 3. So such type of data, we call it grouped data. But what we are dealing with today, we are looking at ungrouped data. And we are going to specifically talk about how to find the standard deviation of ungrouped data. So let's begin. We have a question here that reads, the table below shows the number of days that 52 learners at Masambiriro school were absent in one school term. So days absent, then we have the frequency. Then we are looking at a uh, correct standard deviation. Now in your examination, this question is going to give you six marks. So let's begin. Okay, so the way we do standard deviation, you draw a table first of all, and in this table, we're going to need a column for x, we're going to need a column for frequency, and we are going to need a column for fx, and we are going to need a column for x minus x bar squared. So, these are the columns that you are going to need, one, two, three. So, for the x column, what we do is that we just pick the days absent, this is your x. And then what we do, we just write down like the first one is zero, the second one is one, followed by two, then we have three, we have four, we have five, we have six, and we have seven. So the next one for frequency, you can see that we have frequency. So what we are going to do is just write down the frequency in under this column. So we have two, three, six, seven, uh, six, nine, eleven, and the six itself. So the next column we have fx. Now in mathematics, when you have fx, it means that you are multiplying x. I mean f and x. Okay, so we are going to be multiplying x and f. So for example, 0 times 2, which is 0. Six. 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, 2 times uh, 6, which is 12. Uh, 3 times 7. 3 times 7 will give us what? This is 21. 4 times 6 is going to give us what? 20, 42. 5 times 9. 5 times 9, what are we getting if we do 5 times 9? 45. Okay, 45. 6 times 11, this I think must be 66. 66. Uh -huh. 7 times 6, 7 times 6, 42. 42. Okay, so we get 42. So next, we are going to find, because the next column requires that we use the x bar. So we are going to find the x bar. So the way we find the x bar is that <coughs> We are going to add the fx, the summation of fx. So shall we just add this one? And what total are we finding? We are also going to be adding uh, the frequency. And then what are we finding? So we have 0 plus uh, 3. We have 0 plus 3 plus 12 plus 21 plus 42 plus 45. Plus, uh, plus 66 plus uh, 42. What are we getting? 231. So we should be getting 231. We are also going to sum the frequency, but now there's no need for us to sum the frequency because the summation of frequency has been given because we are told uh, 52 learners at Masambiriro School uh, were. Um, Okay, the study was done on the learners at Masambirino School to find out how many days they were absent at school. So the summation of frequencies that is going to be 52. But in an event where you are not given, you just sum the frequency, you add the way we did with f of x. Now, okay, so now to find, to find the x bar, this one here, we're going to do x bar is found by summation of fx divided by summation of frequency. 
meaning summation of fx, which we just got to be 231, then divide this one by the summation of frequency, which is uh, 52. So when we divide 231 divided by 52, what value are we getting? What value are we getting? 4.4. Okay, so 4.44. So this is our x bar. The next thing we are going to be doing is uh, we are going to be subtracting x minus x bar, then we square the result. So we can be putting these values in the calculator, like in this case we have 0, our x is 0 for this row, our x is 0. We subtract x bar, which is 4.4, uh, to the answer we get, we square. So we open bracket, we open bracket, do 0 minus uh, 4.44. Then we square after closing the bracket. We should be getting something like what? 19.71. We go to the next one. We open bracket. We have 1. So we have 1 subtract our x bar, which is 4.44. Close bracket to square the result. We get 11.833. Uh, next, we have this one we can now go to 4 since the next number is about 6. Uh, next we go to, to 2. So you open bracket, you do 2 minus 4.44. Cross bracket, you square. We are getting something like 5.954. Uh, okay, next we go to the next row, which is 3 minus 4.44. Cross bracket square, we are getting uh, 2.074 when you round off. Open bracket, the next one is 4, so we are getting 4 minus, minus 4.44. Cross your square, we are getting 0 0.1936. The next one, we open bracket, we punch 5. Minus 4.44, uh, cross bracket to square, we are getting 0 0.3136. Next, we open bracket, we have 6. Minus 4.44, cross bracket squared, we are getting 2.434. And the last one is 7. 7 minus 7 minus. 4.44 cross bracket squared. This is giving us 6.55. Okay, 554. Now the next part is we are going to also sum this column. We are going to sum this column. We're going to add all these figures. So that means we have 19.71 plus 11.834 plus 5.954 plus 2.074 plus 0 0.1936 plus um, 0 0.3136 plus 2.434 plus 6.554 and the total comes to about 49 49.0672 okay so when you sum that's what you're getting to now find the standard deviation standard deviation sd is given by uh, SD is given by the root the root of the summation of open bracket x minus x bar squared divided by the summation of frequency. Okay, divided by the summation of frequency, which is going to give us the the summation of x minus x bar squared. We just found it to be forty nine. 0 0.0672 uh, divided by the summation of frequency which is 52. So we begin by first dividing what we have in the bracket. 
So this 49.672 uh, divided by 52 and it's giving us 0 0.94. Um, uh, this is 0 0.944. So if we root the answer, then it gives us 0 0.971. Let me just square root again. Uh, 49, 49.0. 0 0.06 divided by 52, we are getting 0 0.94. Then the square root now of the answer, the square root of the answer is giving us 0 0.971. So this is how you can create standard deviation of ungrouped data. Next, we are going to be looking at also standard deviation, how to do standard deviation of the grouped data so that we can compare the difference. So, Thank you for watching.